the 2015 agreement, which you rightly said, the framework agreement for which you had created the entire documentation earlier, the Nagas have two sticking points, NSCM, IM. I mean, not talking yeah. the entire Nagaland yeah. as yeah. such. One is, of course, the share. But of that the is the most prominent group, you know. Yeah, the share of the group. sovereign power. Mm. Exact words that were used in the framework agreement. You which see, is this, was, this, this is what I negotiated. I must tell you that. You see, their first, this one was, in fact, there is a statement, a letter written to me by Muiwa in 2004. That is where the framework agreement, the origin took place. It was reiterated in 2006. Again, the framework between the two. The difference, the, the first, uh, their demands were given to Mr. Swaraj Kaushal in 1997. He did not respond to that. Then, 2001, they gave it to me again, formally, their demands. And then I negotiated on that. We came to the, the their starting point was, Nagaland is a separate country. We don't want to be part of India. But we don't want to be enmical with India. We want to be friendly with India, a permanent friendship with India. But we are separate, you are separate. So we are prepared to get into an agreement with, not in, with India as a separate sovereign country. But we would share some, you know, some powers with the government of India and all that. This is how they started. And uh, it's almost like a, uh, you are different, we are different. So, you don't even interfere with us, you give us this power. Then they diluted it over the course of all these dialogues. They said, no, we want to be very friendly. And friendly relations would be established by treaty, saying that inseparable bonds between India and Nagaland and all that. I said, look, it won't sell. I mean, you are separate, we are separate, there would be an unbreachable, un it cannot be uh, sort of cut down the bond between the two friendship, eternal friendship and all that, but it won't work. Then they came to what is called shared sovereignty. In the sense, we are prepared to share some powers with government of India. For example, we have said defense, security, and then foreign relations, currency, there cannot be any compromise. They have to be, you have to follow the Indian system. So they said, okay, you know, these are all stages in negotiation. That's not the final one. So they agreed that we would share these powers with the government of India would exercise those things. But other things like forests, cooperatives, you know, something else, uh, you know, land revenue, roads, buildings, all these things would be with Nagaland government. We are, that is what it is in India. They don't understand that. In India, that is how it is. So I said there is a state list, there is a uh, central list, there is a concurrent list. You first, Baba, you understand these things. So ultimately they came saying that there would be certain powers, uh, there would be certain powers to be exercised by the um, Naga people, certain powers to be exercised jointly by Nagas and government of India, certain powers to be exercised only by government of India, those four subjects I mentioned. This is how they said, but this should be incorporated in a, a separate constitution. I said, we can't give you a separate constitution. They said, Kashmir ko hai. I said, Kashmir is in problems, so we can't give you that. So then they said, okay, all these things should be incorporated in an elaborate manner within the Indian constitution, defining each one's power. That is what they call it as a shared sovereignty, you know. This is what they were saying. In fact, that, that particular agreement actually uh, was leaked out by the uh, NSCN, NSCN uh, group. Itself. Yeah, uh, but what you see that after that there was a kind of a cold war with the governor, then governor T. Ravi, who now of course is the I governor know. of Ch um, Tamil Nadu. The problem was, now we are back to square one again. Maybe they will, uh, Mr. Modi might pick up the phone and call you and say, please come again and sort it out because it seems to be going nowhere. Uh, they are back to square one, they are saying, no, no, we will not accept uh, the separate, uh, unless we are a separate country, separate flag, separate constitution, things are back to square one. Please subscribe to Nationalist Hub English channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to like and share this video. Nationalist Hub, it's a news revolution.